In the last episode, absolutely terrible things happened. Mochi passed away, so I replaced him with this Santa Claus that I had in my PC box. The only good thing that happened in the last episode was I got my, uh, my sixth gym badge. I still don't know why the gym leader's not an ice type, but instead of rock type. So that caught me off guard, and I, uh, Mochi got put down by a barbarical in one shot by a shell smash, uh, razor shell. That's horrible. So now here I am going here. Got that gym badge, David. Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the darkest day in the sword and shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Really, we, we've been at this game for a while now. No luck at all. Wait, hold on. Well, what are we looking at here? No way, what's this? A new chapter in the old Galar Legends? A fifth thingy? An absolutely fantastic poster? Exactly. Bob with his brilliant smile must be part of the legend. That's so dumb. Hey, what are you on about? Don't confuse me. The arrows look sad. And where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? I don't know, man. <laughs> this isn't my job. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep. Uh, what happened to them? Based on those statues we saw back in Stone Side, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right, that's my take on it, at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could be one of them, either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? You met them? We met one of them. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. I do remember that, actually. Exactly, the mad Pokemon we ran in the fog. It wasn't even that mad, it was just sitting there chilling. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Uh, sure. He's holding us hostage. I'll spin it. Why is there a sense of scorch right there? Fascinating. All right. The next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. What? Is that that random hot spring thing in the middle? Oh, it's the, I guess we're going there right now. Against my will once again. Man, Hop looks extremely excited to be a part of all this. Oh, look, it's Santa Claus. I got one of those things, too. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. This is making me want to take a really, really hot shower because it is actually pretty cold right now. I think we'll have to look into that. Okay. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. Wait, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. So I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. Of course, of course. I have a feeling I know where this is going. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her? Th Wait, what? We're about to battle her? Okay. Um, uh, He just said he could wrestle a beware. I don't know. Go watch, what was it, episode 3 or something? Go watch that, Hop. Alright, well, I guess I'm basically 5v... Wait, no, he probably doesn't have 6 Pokemon. I bet he's got uh, 5 as well. Well, I guess let's see how I do um, without Mochi now. Dub Wool. Something tells me I know what the Wooloo evolves into. And um, it's probably that thing. I have not seen that Pokemon at all so far. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, it's Hailing? That's disgusting, actually. I'm going to actually Home Claws up. And then I'm going to run through his whole entire team with Drill Peck. Or even Steel Wing. They're about the same base power. Defense curl? Are we really about to do this right now? I mean, it's probably in, in my best favor to keep doing this. Not so much you, though. Oh my god, you know what would be a good idea? Since I have home claws on this thing, I should put leftovers on this. That would make sense. Right now, I have a, I have a sharp beak, so I can do a little more damage. Takedown? Dude, that's going to do nothing. Yeah, I might have to actually... Okay, that was a crit. I might have to use a hyper potion in this battle. Yep, definitely need to put on... Okay, well, the hail's not helping, to be fair, but, um... Yeah, this is kind of disgusting. Um, I am a pretty tanky Pokemon, so I can just, uh... Okay, maybe this isn't such a bad thing that... Oh my god, Growl. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you even know Growl? That thing is, like, level 40, man. Oh my goodness gracious. This, this guy... 
I don't, it doesn't look like the hail is going to stop either. It's just permanently here because of where we are. This is ridiculous. I'm at like plus four right now. Plus four accuracy. Takedown, okay. That's going to do nothing. Okay, hail, yep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... I'm going to go for one more for safe measures. And then I'm going to start uh, hammering away at his team. After I eat up a super potion, of course. Oh my god, defense curl. This first Pokemon was just here to troll me, wasn't it? Okay, Pan's about half health. So it's time... Very very soon it's time to start the... The, uh, the slaughter. Oh, thank god I've got like 29 of these things. Probably should uh, st stock up on more of these. Considering we just lost uh, the most important person of this team. Oh my god, another growl. Why are you doing this? You're just making this more difficult. I don't even know how much attack I have. It's either... Probably plus three. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Wait, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going for a drill pick. I've had enough of your shenanigans. Please let this... Wait, no. He's got plus two defense. Oh, it wasn't enough, though. Oh, thank you, Hale. There's no way he would have uh, died from that. Slam? No! Sandy's level 42. Why would I want to learn Slam? That's disgusting. All right, Pincher and what the heck is that thing? Oh. Uh, oh, that's probably an electric type, in which case it resists literally both my stabs, huh? Um, well, let's see how much Drill Pack does. Hopefully a decent amount. It, it's gone. This is why Home Claws is probably going to save me late game. It, it, maybe it's a good thing that we lost Mochi, so now I can learn to be dependent upon Pan. Another thing, too, is... I, oh, I didn't even see what Pokemon he's going into. Snorlax. Oh, yes, I remember you, Snorlax. Okay. Um. Yeah, you, you are not going to live this one, buddy. For sure. No way. Yeah, I mean, that health bar went down pretty slowly, but yeah. Not even Snorlax could eat up that shot. All right, who's next? I can't... Oh, yeah, I remember I was going to say. Uh, Fear City knows a stockpile now. Um, I think I've already said that before in the past. Yeah, that thing's going to get annihilated by a drill pick. So, Fear City knows stockpile and baton pass. So, I could actually start with that thing and then baton pass into this thing and just absolutely destroy everyone in my path later on. Because I know some of these battles are going to get kind of more difficult. I chose to bring in Santa Claus there, that Karkul, just because it's a, a fire type, you know. Oh, he's got a Corviknight of his own. Cool. Think you've got me cornered? I mean, actually, I kind of do. Level 40. All right. There's no way I one-shot that thing with a drill pick. That thing's got a lot of defense. That thing is me. Yeah, that's a two-hit KO. Yikes. Scary face? Why does Hop have all these moves that just drop my stats and... Don't even help him out too much either. <clears throat> you know what's not helping him out? That hail. That hail is kind of annoying though. Maybe that's why I changed it to snow. Oh dude, that's going to do nothing to me. Yum. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Hop. It was a good battle as always though. Once again, wait, no, I think he got closer last time when I had Mochi. Keep in mind, I didn't even have leftovers on this guy this time around. Well, Hop, uh, that was fun. I've actually lost track of how many times we battled, but um, it, it, it's uh, heavily skewed in my my favor for this win loss. Um, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble at the pace that we're going. That's cool. I'm gonna keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route Nine to take on Spike Muth next. Spike Muth. Gotcha. So I guess that's where I'm going next. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon worried if Hop wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Why do we even come here? Oh, I guess it's because it's where the the heroes go or whatever. Uh, something like that. So what I'm going to do is... uh, Wait, did, did she heal up my Pokemon or did somebody? No, they did not. Wow. Okay, so they heal up to start the battle but not to finish it. Uh, makes sense. Um, okay, how about this? Let's go heal up right now, and then let's go to go to Route 9 and go catch ourselves a new Pokemon. 
I will say I did notice that on Route 9, Route 9's like kind of strange because it looks like there's three different areas, but it's all Route 9, so I don't know how that's going to work. So I'll have to see, but if I mean, if it's Route 9, it's Route 9. That means, yeah, I'll just show you right now. Like, look, here's Route 9, and then there's Route 9, and then, and then here's Route 9. Oh, wait, is this water? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, no, not water. Um, okay, well, I guess I should probably go to the east side of this town and probably get me out of here. Um, actually, I haven't explored this town at all, funny enough. Wait, is this the right way? Route 9. Wait, is this the right, did I go the right way? It's another snow level. This. Oh yeah, we're on the right path. Okay, cool. Excellent. So I can now take this opportunity to go catch myself a new Pokemon. Whoa, but there's, there's one in the water right now. But do I actually... Wait, hold on. I I'm not yanking on the lure. Can, can I like... Okay, good, good. You reeled your line. Good. Um, I don't even know why I just tried that. Let's go see if I can... Okay, there's a Pelipper. Gastrodon. Oh, those are actually decently good Pokemon. Um, but like, but, but uh, I already have a water type though. Hmm. Maybe the Pokemon change depending on where you are on Route 9, so, which doesn't really make sense, but I'm, I'm going to just lie to myself and hope that that's the case, so. Let's battle this person. So something, I, I noticed something. Is it still hailing? Oh my god. I don't have any ice types, do I? No, I don't. Why is... Yeah, why is Pan... Or not Pan. Why is there a Pelipper over there? As well as a, um... A whatchamacallit. A, um... A Gastrodon in the, in the hail. Wouldn't that mean you're, like, taking agonizing pain 24-7? Oh, thank god. We're at the point where my drill picks are, in fact, KOing, um... Uh, enemy Pokemans. Brave Bird! Okay, now we're talking, man! Oh, uh, that's that's base 120, and it's 15 PP. Yeah, let's get rid of Pluck, shall we? Yep, those days are over. Uh, this is good. This is, I mean, it's recoil, so I gotta be careful, because obviously it's a Nuzlocke, but still, that's a... That is really good for me, man. Lantern? Did she just... Was that a Lantern? I think so. Um, let, let's, let's go into you. I don't want to get electrocuted or something. Gotta play it safe. Was it a lantern? It was a lantern, wow. That's a cool Pokemon that I haven't seen at all. But yeah, see, I've got Phantom Force, Shadow Ball, and then Stockpile and Baton Pass. So I, I could literally just walk into a gym battle, right? And then just uh, do this and then, and then swap to... Um, to pan and just absolutely just destroy everything in my way. Looks like the shadow ball's looking like a two-hit KO. That's good for me, bad for you. Take this. Goodbye. Poor, poor lantern. As always, all my enemies are poor. I'm kind of tempted to go to that water spot thing right there. Again. If I don't find like a some kind of Pokemon that really grabs my attention. I might just do that. Okay, so let's let's heal up these guys. Do I have a super potion or did I run out of those? I think I ran. No, I did not. Okay. So I'm gonna change right now. Let's. Uh, oh, oops. Um, I'm gonna swap out my sharp beak for leftovers right now. Um, give an item. Wait, what? Okay, how about I just take that? So I'm gonna be trading uh, damage for uh, some some survival, you know? Where's oh, wait? These are berries. Hold on, leftovers. There we go. Yep. You know, you know who used to have these? Mochi. Isn't that sad? I must carry the the torch or whatever. What the heck is that thing? Is that that Pokemon that evolves into, um, whatchamacallit, um, Toxapex, yeah. 
I think it is. It looks like a, a little baby Toxapex, so... Darumaka? That's an ice type. Oh, you know what? You know what's funny? I actually have uh, a steel type move, which is good against uh, that thing. So, think about your Darumaka. As long as I don't miss, but it uh, looks like I did not. That's a pretty powerful Pokemon, I would imagine. If it's anything like, uh, you know, regular Darmanitan and all that. Yum. See, look, now I can negate the effects of this stupid, disgusting, and annoying hail. Blossom. Oh, pfft. this was just not your matchup, lady. You're, you're weak to both steel and flying. How obscure. Goodbye. Yeah, it looks like I didn't need that short beak after all. Leftovers will definitely help me far more, especially if I'm going to start using things like home claws and whatnot to uh, eat up shots. And then uh, sweep everyone with Drill Peck or what have you. So, I see those Pokemon there. I'm afraid to run in that grass because I think I'm going to, like, <laughs> burn my encounter. Wait a second. Th is this a new area? So, we've got Route 9, then we've got Route 9 Sir Chester Bay. Okay, well, if there's different Pokemon here... Okay, I literally see Team Yell there. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, okay, some, this is just a weird one. I guess it is a different area. That is that is strange to me. Yeah, I mean, I literally moved on the map. I don't know why it's like that. Okay, I guess it's considered a new area, so... I guess we're going to catch more Pokemon than I thought. So, Route 9... And then it'll be Route 9, Sir Chester Bay. Now, the question is, do I go in that grass, or do I... Oh, do I risk it all and catch that? Um, I mean, I see these Pokemon right now. I'll be honest. These, these Pokemon don't really interest me. All right, all right, fine, fine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to risk it for the bit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is this Route 9 the same as that route? Wait, no, that's Route 8. Oh. Silly me. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, okay. These are definitely three different areas because I didn't even know this till now that they're... That, that place where the ruins, that's Route 8, and then the snow is Route 8. But those are two totally different areas. That's weird to me. Whatever. Okay. Hopefully I get a super cool Pokemon inside this puddle of water. That's not a super cool Pokemon. Oh, no. Octillery. Oh, man. That's that's a real bummer right there. Um. Well, might as well catch it. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, to be fair though, those Pokemon in the grass aren't that much better. Go, Ultra Ball. Please just stay in here. I, I don't want to waste time beating this thing down. No, great. Now we've got to waste time beating this thing down. Lock on. Are you about to use Zap Cannon on me? Are you crazy? Took aim at Pan. How dare you? Oh my god. We, we, we really going to have to do this, huh? Alright, well, how about I just use Steel Wing right now? Because, yeah, I would go for Drill Peck, but I gotta consider that there's hail, and, you know, I might do too much damage, you know? Oh, yeah, I forgot my defense can rise like that. Alright, hail. God, this hail is so disgusting. It's so, it's so gross and vile. Okay. Where is the Ultra Balls? Please keep this thing in. I will take whatever. What? Okay, Octillery's looking kind of mean right now. Bubble Beam? How much is that going to do? Nothing. Man. Well, okay, well now it's in the yellow, so I, doesn't that mean scientifically speaking it should be significantly easier to catch? I don't know how the, the whole algorithm works. It's like, uh, I always thought it was like either green, yellow, or red. One of the two. So this is... Oh! oh! Okay, good. It's finally over. So uh, I'm literally going to keep this thing in the back. Send that thing straight to the PC. I will not be needing you. Um, un unless, of course, things get very, very hairy. I sometimes forget that... Oh, wait, I've got a nickname, this thing. This is the Jet Pokemon? 
Are you crazy? That's literally the octopus Pokemon. It has a tendency to want to be in holes. It prefers rock crags or pots and sprays ink from them before attacking. That's literally an octopus. No, 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 no. Y you guys don't know what you're talking about. That's not the jet Pokemon. That's, that's literally an octopus. And I'm going to name it octopus. I, wh what? Why would they call it the jet Pokemon? <laughs> like... Like Latios, Latios. Th those are the jet Pokemon, not Octillery. That's silly. Oh, I'm gonna go over there and grab that item. Max Potion. Oh, cool. I wonder if you can buy Max Potions from uh, Pokemon markets in this game. <clears throat> um, so, judging by uh, the context clues, I'm assuming that um, we're probably about to battle... Um, these these geniuses right here yep oh it's a dreadnought i've been seeing this pokemon a lot i actually own one there's no way we're letting you anywhere near spike mooth and that means we can't let you go on to route nine but this is route nine it's team yell's duty to cheer on these lovely dreadnought and we also get to stop people from heading out over the water the bite i don't, I don't think i've used my dreadnought once this whole playthrough Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that Rotom bikes can ride on water. Ah, I, I see, I see. Why we meet again, my young gym challenger friend? Remember me? I gave you that bike. I actually don't remember that. I do remember I got a bike, but um, <clears throat> I didn't know it was that guy specifically. It's our duty to protect Dreadnought. And that means you're going to need to give up on the gym challenge. You look like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Were these guys actually like this in the anime? Were they even in the anime? Does anyone know? I mean, this is just absurd. Like, these guys... Like, Team Rocket is goofy, but these guys are straight up delusional. <clears throat> I don't like this route. Like, lately in my, my game playthroughs, I've been on, like, a combination of a snow level and water level, which is precisely where I'm at right now. Okay, well, I'm going to do my strategy right now. I'm going to test it out. Going to hone claws up. I'm guessing that Line Noon is dark normal, so I can eat up whatever it wants to use. Night Slash, yeah, that's going to do nothing. Oh, right. I always... I keep forgetting that, um... I don't know what generation it was. Maybe it was 6? Or 7? But Steel no longer resists dark, which is kind of unfortunate. For me, at least. I mean, I, I guess for the, the longevity of the game, maybe it's a good thing. Because uh, Steel used to be, like, kind of indestructible. Oh, and Ghost 2, it doesn't resist Ghost anymore. That's a big deal, to take off two resistances like that. It's still really good, though, but... But, man, it used to be, like, invincible. Pangoro, what the heck is... Pa oh, wait, oh, that's the panda guy. I think that's a fighting type. These guys actually have a decent fight theme. I never really pay attention to it. It's not as good as Marnie's theme. Marnie has the best theme in the whole game. I would argue that Marnie's theme is slightly better than the gym leader theme, and the gym leader theme is... Extremely good. Sand Claws leveled up. Cool. Uh, Sigh, I want to go back to Spike Mooth. I really do. Well, then go. Nobody's stopping you. Whoa, look who it is. It's Santa Claus. Wow, the circle of life. That's funny because this this was uh, the gym leader's signature boss Pokemon. It's Colossal right here. That was also the trainer that took Mochi's life. And now I have one. As well as a Dreadnought too. That's uh, what Nessa had. The coal Pokemon. This thing is 684 pounds and 9 feet tall. It's usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 2700 degrees Fahrenheit. That is perhaps the most violent thing I've heard all video game. Oh, I want to learn Tar Shot. What is that, a poison move? Tar Shot. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. Oh, it's a rock move. The user pours sticky tar over the target, lowering the target speed stat. The target becomes weaker to fire type moves. Uh, no, I, I don't need that. Thanks, though. That's cool. I never heard of that move before. I guess it's a signature move for Colossal. God, he's gonna ride the Dreadnought. No, I, I don't think I am. I think... Wait, oi, I've got an idea. We we can get on Dreadnought first and ride away. I would not recommend you do that. That thing is very aggressive. But bites. Don't tell me they're actually going to do it. Oh, okay, I just left them. Look at them just... Wait, what are they doing? Oh my god, you fools. Seems like you've come to my aid yet again. 
How has the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts, allowing it to travel along the water's surface just for you. Oh, thanks. You put the, the Rotom bike in your, your bag's key items pocket. Oh, so I... Oh, that's right. God, oh yeah, I do remember this. I can just ride on the water now. That's actually a very nice thing. Whoa! Whalmers? How does this work? Do I just like... Oh! Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go catch a Pokemon. Because this is Sir Chester Bay, so I guess it's a new area. And then we can uh, call it for this episode. So hopefully we find our super cool Pokemon. Zoom lens. If the holder moves after its target, it's... that's such a strange item. Why not just have higher accuracy? Is there no Pokemon in this water right here? Wait, is this going to be one of those areas where like... It's like the tunnels where there's no random encounters. And they're just... They're just walking around normally like this. I think that is what's happening here. If if that's the case, it looks like... Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'll be able to find a, a Pokemon uh, on this route. Very unfortunate. Uh, it, it, it was kind of cool. Nice idea, though. Alright, well then, in that case, um, since we can't find it because it's not a random encounter at all, uh, I'm just going to call for this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.